What's up guys, my name is Travis Monsod and you're tuned into my channel, Travis Monsod. Yes, it's been a very, very busy, busy couple of weeks. A lot of streaming has been happening. So if you've been following me on Facebook and of course, Sikat Entertainment, we have had a lot of DJ streams and of course, the Sikat Entertainment, Sikat Talks, the new talk show that you gotta tune into when you're on Facebook. Now, I was able to borrow the XT2, not the 3, not the 4, but the XT2 from my good friend, Nico Villegas. So shouts out to you, Nico. Of course, Nico is an accomplished photographer and a Fujifilm ambassador. Now, Nico has also lent me his lens. It's a Fujinon aspherical lens, 10 to 24 millimeter. So you get a good wide shot when it comes to the stream or the video. Shouts out also to the Global Gears boys for lending me a charger for this camera. Thanks guys. Now we all know that the X-T2 is a very, very awesome camera when it comes to photos and of course video. But when it comes to streaming, that's what we're gonna check out now. So come with me as we go check the X-T2 when it comes to streaming. Let's go. All right guys, here's an example of the video that the X-T2 pumps out via the program that Fujifilm released. Now I'm recording my Discord window through OBS. I can't exactly get the X-T2 running in OBS as a video capture device. I'm actually doing a Discord call to myself and I'm recording it with OBS. Same thing applies for Zoom and of course same thing applies for Skype. So this is the video quality of the X-T2 when it comes to video calling. For streaming, you gotta still go through softwares like Discord, Zoom, or Skype. As again, as of this video, OBS does not recognize the camera itself. Or I might look around the internet and tweak it a little and maybe get it to work. But again, that's for another video. So yeah, this is the X-T2 when it comes to video calls and streams. Again, I'm using my condenser mic for the audio and the video is courtesy of the Fujifilm X-T2. So again, what are the steps that you have to do? Go to the Fujifilm website, download the Windows driver, install it in your PC, and then reboot your PC. Now, on that same website, you have instructions via PDF that you can download and you can follow to set up your Fujifilm camera. You gotta follow those instructions because it will give you specific instructions for the camera settings that you have to use when it comes to streaming the video for your web calls. All right, so back to the video that I'm actually shooting also with this X-T2. Let's go back. Okay, there you go. Those are my thoughts about the X-T2 when it comes to streaming. Sadly, we can't use the X-T2 as of this video with OBS. All we can use the X-T2 so far is Zoom, Skype, and of course, Discord. I haven't tried any other communication software, but so far with the three, the Fujifilm X-T2 worked flawlessly. It's a very simple setup. All you got to do is get one micro USB cord straight to your computer and install the software and you're good to go. Don't forget to restart the computer after installing the software. And actually, Fujifilm gives you a guide on their website. So that was the X-T2 when it comes to streaming. Don't forget that you gotta keep your OS updated and of course, get the latest drivers from Fujifilm. Again, thanks to Nico Villegas for lending me the X-T2. And of course, Fujifilm, PH. You guys are freaking awesome. All right, that was the video for the X-T2 used for streaming. My name is Travis Monsod. Manila, stay future-proof. Cheers.